Soul Caliber Six. Hey, the guys, this is basing our third one three. This is basing her. God damn it! <laughs> and we are continuing on with the story mode. Uh, now I'm curious about the mission mode as well, but like I feel like I really do need to uh, be story mode first and then uh, do everything else afterwards. So yeah, let's do that. Right now, our next character is Aswell. So let's do him. Aswell, Aswell, surveillance mission interim report number one. Very curious as to how he. Pl Wait a minute. Oh shit! Hold on. Reports on the Aswell surveillance mission. What's the select the one? The subject was born into. Damn it! Okay. I might need to adjust my controls later on because I'm not sure if like my friends play well through this game and then medicine. adjust it to default he controls. Knowledge in numerous other fields. We'll have to see later on. History, martial arts, fine arts, literature, and human culture. His it definitely sounds like a different narrator than beforehand. Gains him entry into the organization. He contributes greatly to our group. Including his research on ecological theory and artifacts, particularly those who've lost their humanity. In recognition of his deeds, he was rewarded with a seat among the Twelve, the organization's supreme decision-making body. Currently, a very the subject title. is assigned to our branch in Northern Europe, researching the evil seed phenomenon, which occurred yesterday. This ends the report. The following document contains an interaction with the subject. Well, that's interesting. So I'm guessing this is what the interaction is. I have a hypothesis. I believe the evil seed was caused by what is known as the Cursed Sword. The yin to the yang of the Spirit Sword. The symbol of the Aval organization. The fragment of the Cursed Sword, gathered by intelligence, emitted a wavelength similar to the one observed from that pillar of light. Furthermore, those filthy miscreants who deplore the human race emit the same wavelength as the Cursed Sword. In other words, individual variations aside, the Evil Seed steals the minds of those with the same wavelength, turning them into fiends. This sword dares to populate the world with fiends who threaten my beloved human race. Disgraceful, isn't it? It is. Still, that I don't see the avatar of the overseer. An idea in my mind, but let's leave that aside for the moment. In regards to the cause of the evil seed, hmm, if my hypothesis is correct, then it lies with the one who wields the cursed sword, the Azure Knight. I just want to hear a little bit of Skullgirls with that music or something. <laughs> I don't know if that was just me or not. Right. As well, too. As well, surveillance mission and tournament report, too. Based on my observations, the hypothesis made by the subject may hold water. Nightmare, the Azure Knight, is a cruel leader, and our number one priority should be exterminating him. Interesting. Um, what else is interesting is that we also didn't really fight anyone. We just jumped to the next chapter. That ends the report. The following document contains an interaction with the subject. At last, at long last, it is complete! I've created a prototype of a device that will be the key to freeing the human race from its shackles! That glove, you mean? This is no mere glove! Fitted with replicated fragments of the Spirit Sword and the Cursed Sword, it utilizes their wavelengths to unleash a power capable of annihilating the fiends! But... Fear not. As I stated, I'm using but replicas of fragments from the Cursed and Spirit Swords. I have not violated the organization's cause as espoused by the Oath. Death to outsiders, they who reject humanity, and to those who would wreak havoc with their power. On to the testing! <laughs> First, let's go outside and see what this device can do. Very dramatic music, I like it. So here we are, I'm guessing. There's no cause for alarm. That filth is an outsider I captured for this very purpose. Let the experience begin. The 
he's accented on experience. Is that like a... I want to know, like, how do you pronounce that? Is it just an A type of experience? Like, like Pokemon? Alright, first off. No soul charges. What the fuck? Uh, buttons, what the fuck? Uh, did I... Oh, it's fucking weird. Okay, hold on. There we go. Oh, shit. No, that's not what I... What the fuck happened there? That's so weird. Okay, whatever. It seems like it's good for now. Can I... Okay, there we... What the fuck? Why is it not... I'm so confused. Why is my arcade stick not working all of a sudden? Uh, battle. Wait, what? What the fuck? I'm sorry, what? That's not back? X is back. The fuck? What the fuck's the A button? <laughs> if it's not A, then what the hell is it? Okay. What the hell? Okay, Welcome so now I'm on the, the game gamepad section. Everything seems to be fine for now. God, this game is so fucking weird. This didn't happen to me before. What the hell updated? I want to know what the hell updated. There, was there something that I missed out on or something? Because this just... Alright. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not right. Alright, everything seems to be fine. Okay, holy shit, what the fuck. I don't know, whatever, okay. So, okay, so what I'm doing is now I'm on the gamepad option. And I guess that acts as a clone of the Xbox 360? But if I'm on the Xbox 360 prompt, replicating the Xbox, all the buttons are like mishmash. Like for some reason, square slash X is the B button. And the A button, for some reason, is X slash square. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, at least we got things fixed. So, I do apologize for that. This should finally be the next part. All right, let's do this. Battle one. Fight. Go ahead. All right, yeah, everything's going to be normal now. What is not normal is the AI I kill. I don't think I said to be easy difficulty. Is that his kick, really? Interesting, he doesn't have a kick. Ooh, excuse me. He doesn't actually have a dedicated kick. It seems like he, um... His kick button functions as, like, either different forms or different sets of attacks. I don't know if you want to combo that. He's definitely an interesting character, but certainly way too advanced for me, I think. Oh man, okay. Oh crap, okay. Lost him a lot of time. <laughs> he is such a weird guy. Excellently done. 
I think the voice acting definitely helps his character out so much. Like just his flamboyant, like completely performative Everything attitude. Everything seems to have worked perfectly. However, more power is needed to produce the key. What is this? That's it. I don't key? think I'm gonna main him. He's way too complicated <laughs> for me. It's the key to my plan to save the human race, of course. In time, this glove will produce it. But alas, that moment isn't now. I need to find a way to increase its output. Ideally, I would create a wavelength close to that of the evil seed. But using fiends like those we encounter does not generate enough power. But no matter. <laughs> we can worry about the methods later. That aside, I think it's time you knew about my plan to save humanity. It has no doubt been on your mind, correct? Alright, internment report number 3, the subject has not yet created a replica fragment of the cursed sword, he has also captured an outside element on whom he was being performed on various experiments. I shall ex demand that this is brought to an end, as well as continue to monitor the subject's movement with extreme caution. Now before we do that, I really need to check if, for some reason, my uh, difficulty setting like changed or something, because it should be normal, I think. Or is it graphics, network, screen, battle camera? No. Is there no difficulty option? Doesn't look like it. Huh. Okay. That's weird. Like I said, it's been a while since I last played through this, so like I'm not exactly 100% sure if they actually did have a uh, difficulty slider or not. But I guess they don't. In the process, let's commence the field test and rid ourselves of some filth. We shall go investigate the dimensional rift, the astral fissure that was discovered. According to the report, the astral fissure produces fiends similar to the ones we all know and despise, but that are even stronger. If I just sit around here twiddling my thumbs, our precious human brethren in the surrounding area may be transformed into filthy fiends. Onward to the astral fissure to investigate and to exterminate. A stronger wavelength? This is most promising. Yeah, like not every single chapter has a battle it seems. I accompanied the, su the subject to the astral fissure's location. On our way, we were attacked by miscreants claiming to rule the area, but the subject dealt with them in a shockingly extreme manner. If your maggots want to pass through here in one piece, give us everything you got! W what's that? Hmm. Though their low intelligence concerns me, they still deserve love. <laughs> I shall accept the love they have to give. Is his love, like... Physical touch? <laughs> it's taking a little bit way too kinkily. Alright. He has a very interesting definition of love, without a doubt. We could bring a definite, um, I want to say, intrigue <laughs> to what he defines as love because I don't think everyone else has the same definition at all. Crap. Alright, gotta not go too offensive, I guess. Alright, hold on. Blocking too much. Like I said, very interesting play style, just I don't think it's for me personally. It requires a lot of technicality for him to work properly. 
and I don't think I have that much patience when trying to do so, but definitely props to anyone who can properly wield him. Like, this kick function, like, I'm guessing this is a stance or something. Now, I'm not sure if I could, like, combo, combo that with something else. Certainly intriguing, I think that adds a layer of depth to his playstyle. Oh dear, why is your tail between your legs all of a sudden? Well, I do love that look of fear in your eyes. Your bluster and limited vocabulary was so precious. Please, <laughs> it's as you said. Forgive me. I'll do anything. Oh, will you now? In that case, how about you all fight each other to the death right now? The victor goes free. Huh? All you three refuse, of you? you die. So take up your weapons and use them to kill your beloved friends. Your <laughs> life depends on it. Clearly, he didn't care about his friends that often. What's your reward? You get to die. <laughs> I'm predicting that's a twist right there. I did it. I did it. Wonderful. What a splendid drama-filled performance! Well, well. Hmm. First, illuminate me. What were the names of those you just fought and your relation to them? Um, I uh. Don't test my patience. The one collapsed right there is John. Known him since our group started. Oh my! And who's that over there? He's. Me younger brother and I, I... Such a fine expression! Jesus. Finally, you realize what you have done! Do continue and be quick about it. <laughs> and do be quick about it. Oh, what is the matter? Tell me how you feel! Lament to me! This is part of his experiments, I'm guessing. Are you done? Well, fair enough. You put on a spectacular performance, so it would be unkind of me to be angry. Why so furious? Do not misunderstand my intentions. I adore the human race. <laughs> Indeed. To me, humans are worthy of love like no other. The way they are always so delicately balanced between joy and despair, love and hate, reason and emotion, it gives me the strength to forge on. And so, I must give them my all in return. Be a shining ray of light that saves them. Let's proceed. If my estimates are correct, the astral vision you know is the foundation and of this the might shining be a, ray of light. A prediction of the twist ending, maybe? I don't know. I could be completely wrong in this one. What he believes that every single one of us is, is just a figment. Or a blue pill, you were saying. <laughs> What he's trying to do is kill everyone to liberate them and forge them into Awakening Mint. That's my theory at least. I don't know if that's true or not. Anyways, the subject is planning to utilize the Astral Fissure. Although verifications are yet to be made, the increased number of outsiders in the vicinity makes me almost 100% certain the Fissure should be dealt with and any attempt to use it punishingly, uh, punish it accordingly, once I have fully asserted the nature of the subject's plan, I will have no doubt. I have no doubt he will be deserving of swift execution. So this is the astral fissure, glorious K Grande. Yes, yes, its wavelength and output seem to match the evil seeds. I can safely conjecture that this is the cause of the increased filth in the area. While I do need to consider their extermination, for now I'll try to enhance my device. <clears throat> now try reading that out of context. Well, it goes without saying that the astral fissure would be filled with powerful waves. This explains the filth appearing. How deplorable. 
It enrages me to think that such abominations could breathe the same air. Hey, Berserker happens to be in the game after all. Remember that one Soul Calibur 2 character that was essentially a henchman? I think only one character out of the... Well, actually, no, I guess technically two. Berserker was probably like, the weakest out of like all the three henchman characters. Like, I think everyone loved Assassin and Lizard Man more. Lizard Man because he was a staple of the Soul Calibur series and Assassin because he was basically strong. <laughs> I don't know if that was a combo or not. I gotta stop. Okay. That's definitely new. The fissure thing. That was bad. That was definitely bad. Oh! That was way too close, holy shit. That was only two rounds. What's in the third round then? Or is that with it? Do you wonder why I chose not to seize them? Naturally, I wish to see all fiends destroyed along with any monsters who pose a threat to the human race. What annoys me most is that they dare resemble my beloved humans. Such <laughs> blasphemy. My experiments Got a racist and here, aren't on the filth have concluded. All that remains is to eradicate them. Now, it's time to enhance, enhance the device. this device. God damn. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of device is he using? Do you see? Do you see? The fragment's waves and its output have increased! What's more, the astral fissure is gone! Is this assimilation? Absorption? Interesting. This is a remarkable discovery. With this, my plan can proceed! What? The fragment? Uh. It's shattered! The replica must have been too weak to handle the increase in power. So, it has to be the genuine article or nothing. Hmm. So, in a way, he is trying to save the human race. It's just that he's also very crazy about it. Like, immensely crazy about it. God. Like, you, you call that a little bit of a contradiction, the fact that he's killing all the Malfested, the infected Malfested, whatever you want to call that. Um, and not only that, but also, like, closing up the portals from the Malfested into the human race world, I'm guessing? Uh... Hmm. The subject is secretly attempting to get his hands on both the fragment of the Cursed Sword obtained by Intelligence, as well as the Spirit Sword fragment to... that has long been in our possession. In order to carry out his plans, he needs to steal the, both the fragments and will attempt to do so in two days from now at noon. The moment he attempts to take them, we kill them. This looks like the final one too, so... Final battle. <laughs> so if it wasn't all the uh, technical issues, this would have been a very now. fast chapter, essentially. They've been fooled by your false reports, and they worship the replica spirit sword fragment. Even though the two fragments have been recovered... think we could be controlled like puppets. My, what a pleasure this is. The leader of intelligence himself coming to say goodbye. You got here quicker than I anticipated. Well done. Why have you betrayed the organization, huh? Oh no, not the overseer. What have you done? That one guy that we assumed him. to be caring about. Well, I realized I was being observed. But when I asked him to stop, he refused. So I did what needed to be done. 
Fret not. His life is not in danger. While my plan for saving humanity is important, I do not take pleasure in killing a beloved human. Regardless, you really didn't suspect a thing, did you? Were you not even slightly suspicious about only receiving written reports from your observer? An evil apostate such as you could never save the human race. Your words cut me deep. I have a vision, a plan to save humanity, which I'm attempting to put into effect. Have you gone mad? <laughs> Let me speak frankly. The evil seed was imperfect, for it was released merely as a result of the cursed sword. But by combining the powers of the spirit sword and the cursed sword, the evil seed can achieve perfection. When that happens, the world will be rid of fiends, elevating humanity to its rightful place and freeing them from their twisted fate. So that is why you needed a fragment of the spirit sword. Precisely. Admirable, I guess, but the what's the deal with killing all the humans? Like, he doesn't seed. like killing the them, but seed. he doesn't mind no other people killing them? The other humans I killing other humans? With your cause, and I have mm. learned much about the spirit and cursed souls, Maybe he's just fascinated by their actions and their contradictions me. or My something. Has Especially if they're under life's danger. Or maybe he just gets that kick out of it or something, I don't know. He's a strange phenomenon. I think he does have a... Uh, he needs a little bit more work, but he certainly has the intrigue of what makes a completely madman. Well, he already has that with his performance. I really like this voice actor. You may grow sword master, but you can't expect to defeat me. As thanks for your coming here personally, allow me to show you what happens when you combine the spirit and cursed swords. Ooh. So do we have our soul edge? Or sorry, soul... Charge. Enable now. Battle one. Nope. Fight. Okay. Go ahead. This might actually be more trouble than I thought. He's actually putting a fight, I think. Hmm. Oh dang. Whoa. Okay. The stage with you. Uh, yep. Damn. But he didn't attack back for some reason, so I'm safe. Could have punished me there easily. Damn it, I was behind. I think that might be a projectile or something. There we go. I'm getting used to his play style at least, but god damn is it tough. Oh man, this song though, holy crap. Alright, that doesn't combo. So despite it being a launcher, I'm not entirely too sure if you could really combo it with something else. There was nothing there! Okay. You missed! Ready? Damn it. That was a horrible time to do the critical edge. Hold on, actually. What if I do the launcher into the critical edge? Is that combo? Can you stand the test? It's time. Definitely not. That was worth experimenting, I guess. Alright. Damn it. I literally like stopped blocking as soon as he started attacking. So yeah, it starts getting harder in later levels, I wanna say. Oh crap. Oh crap. I gotta be very careful. My garden my guarding is very bad. Damn it! I was going a little bit too ham because I was worried that he's gonna break my guard. Oh, that was good punish. 
I don't know if I grabbed him from behind, but I think I did. It was unblockable, so... Oh. I'm playing way too defensive, I feel. Oh, no! Okay, that's a tech guard. Damn. There we go. That was a tough battle, especially with a character I'm not too familiar with. Where did you obtain such power? You can still stand. Toby! I I that, okay? From one of the twelve. Sorry to keep you waiting. Sorry about that. <laughs> Finally, some backup. Kindly take care of this. I was careless to assume you were the only betrayer. Oh. How what dare twist? you oppose Lord Aswell, miserable swine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Yes, Master. All your pursuers have been taken care of. Well done. You come to my dungeon tonight. <laughs> <Time for> research, <laughs> experiments, and observations is at an end. We now enter the implementation phase. My beloved human darlings, I shall show you a shining ray of light that will free you all from suffering and sorrow. <laughs> That's the end of his story. Um... The so... names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. Okay. I think we heard that beforehand, so I don't think we really need to hear that again. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. Um, he takes place in the middle of Girl's story as well, so I'd say that was... Wait a minute. Where the fuck's 2B? Wait, she doesn't have a story mode? I guess when I saw 2B story or something. Or do I need to update that? Huh, I guess the DLC characters don't have story modes in them. Actually, I'm not seeing- oh wait, no, never mind, there's Tira. Where the hell's, uh... 2B? I have her as a playable character, right? I guess... Hmm. Welcome to the stage of Tira's an exception, but any other DLC characters don't have... Anything else? Okay, yeah, I do have her as a playable character. That is weird. Anyways, well, continuing on to the story mode, we will be playing as, I guess, Ivy Valentine. Which is, yeah, the next character we're gonna cover. And if you thought, well, actually, no, I probably play a better Ivy than as well, but it's another character that uh, I'm not too familiar with. So, yeah, we're gonna be doing that. So stay tuned for that.